Want to see something cool? Let's talk about things we're not supposed to talk about. As your internet arbiter of cool and personal Q-Branch engineering super nerd, here's a thing you need to know exists. Pick a card, any card, because they all pretty much work the same. A low-powered radio on the wall sends out a blast of energy, and a tiny antenna in here catches it. A bit of electrical magic uses that to power a tiny computer. It reads off a number and transmits it back to the wall using the same recycled electrons that the wall just sent over. There's no battery in here. It's kind of like a crystal radio, and it can catch some energy from the electrical ether to power itself. But this has a tiny transmit capacity and can send some back before it all has a chance to just entropy out into heat. It's really quite impressive when you think about it. This is elegant engineering and an example of incredible efficiency. But then, there's this fucking thing. This is an iCopy X, and with this in my pocket, I can make your security team's day way more exciting. It can be the card, the reader, and even in between. This makes me the entire problem. This little bit of kit and some concentrated training can give you a backstage pass to the security theater and open up all kinds of doors to places you're probably not supposed to be. The rabbit hole of card access systems goes as deep as your brain can handle with side quests of electronics and cryptography, but learning about these things and how they work opens up doors to a great paying career. The whole world depends on these and almost nobody actually knows how they work or how to fix them. Check out what it costs to outfit a building with a card access system. Get curious, get educated, and get a steady paycheck being a high-powered turbo nerd because that's pretty cool.